question that is often asked uh, prior to cataract surgery is whether you can do away completely with glasses, that is to say do away with reading glasses as well as distance glasses. As I've mentioned in a previous video, modern cataract surgery can in most patients, and provided the rest of the eye is healthy, enable you to be made normal sighted, that is to say see well in the distance without glasses, but patients are still requiring reading glasses to see veneer. Now, in patients who are very short-sighted or very long-sighted, they're often very pleased about doing away with their glasses other than the reading glasses, but some patients would like to completely do away with glasses, uh, and therefore there are various options that are associated with this. One option, if you've previously been short-sighted, is to keep you uh, still slightly short-sighted to enable you to read without glasses, but it does mean you need glasses for the distance. However, if people are used to this and are happy to wear glasses from the distance, that's one way of reading without glasses. An alternative strategy is an intraocular lens called a multifocal lens, uh, and there's a variety of these lenses on the market, and they all work in slightly different ways, but most lenses work by providing a different focus at different distances on the retina. So part of the lens concentrates the distance focus, part of the lens concentrates the near focus, and sometimes part of the lens also concentrates an intermediate distance focus, all on the retina at the same time. Uh, it works best if both eyes have surgery, but you have to be aware it is something of a compromise, because what you have to do, what your brain has to do, is ignore the images that it doesn't want to concentrate on, and concentrate on the image at the distance it was does want to concentrate on. So if you're wanting to see for near, you have to ignore the distance image, and if you're wanting to see in the distance, you have, your brain has to ignore the near image. Uh, some people get on with this very well, some people do find it slightly difficult. It, it also does generally reduce the quality of vision at all distances, uh, which is not so important in good lighting, but when you're working in reduced lighting, uh, then this can cause what's called a reduction in contrast sensitivity, which can make it a little bit more difficult to see. Also, in uh, reduced lighting, and in particular if you're driving at night, many of these multifocal lenses produce halos around point light sources. And I think it's fair to say that if you're very visually demanding, either in the distance, such as a lorry driver, or very wanting to have very good near vision, um, it's probably best to avoid multifocal lenses. Another option which I favour if people are trying to minimise the use of uh, glasses is what's called blended monovision. And in this situation, the dominant eye, the one you use when you look through a telescope or aim a rifle, you put an intraocular lens implant in to get you aiming for seeing well in the distance. And in the other eye, and you have to have cataract in both eyes obviously to have this treatment, and in the other eye you put a lens implant in not for near, but for an intermediate distance, at say computer distance or slightly further away. And the reason it's called blended monovision is it means that you can still use both eyes reasonably comfortably together because there's not a huge difference in the focus between the two eyes, rather than full-blown monovision when one is definitely for distance and one is definitely for near. So it is a compromise, but some people find the compromise uh, quite uh, acceptable uh, in that what happens with this blended, mon blended monovision is that you can read in a good light with good print unaided, but certainly if you needed to see small print or you were tired or there was reduced lighting, you'd have to put on a pair of reading glasses. Uh, but you can, for most uh, visual tasks, be able to uh, perform very well without glasses. So blended monovision is certainly my preferred option if patients want to become less dependent on glasses.